This is Professor Jay Michaels, and I'm going to talk to you about the Big Bang Theory. Now, you might be curious why I'm saying this now in, in this theatrical moment. The Big Bang Theory to me is, euphemistically speaking, when an explosion occurs that suddenly creates monumental growth. And, and if you've picked up the papers within the last year or so, maybe two years, you've realized the explosion that has gone on and the growth that has, has taken over the world. And, and I'm thrilled to be talking to, uh, to individuals who are helping in that growth. Uh, with me today is Osa Mizrahi, uh, who's going to talk about her book. Uh, uh, I, I watched the video regarding it and, and in speaking to her now for a brief moment, uh, uh, I realized how important and how powerful this is and how necessary a tome this is for everyone to read, not just women. And, and then I was extra thrilled. I thought, well, well, how am I connecting? And then 30 seconds with Bree O'Connor from Playful Substance, uh, one of the leaders in terms of developing uh, new works in, in the indie theater scene today, uh, shared with me the relationship she had with Ms. Mizrahi uh, and how that book uh, came out of their own development series that Playful Substance has. Ladies, it's a pleasure to, to see you and to speak to you today. How are you? Great, great. Nice meeting you, Jay. Nice meeting you. Um, also, so tell me, tell me, tell me more about the book. I, I saw your video. By the way, my, my dad used to call me Osa. I love that. Um, but it called me in New York more like OC. OC, okay. <laughs> but I love Osa. That's oh, I, exactly how I was pronounced as a kid. <laughs> that's funny that when I first saw it, that's what I, okay, great. Well, there we go. We're on, we're on the same page. Okay, OC, um, let's, let's talk about the book. I saw the video, uh, uh, very compelling. Tell us more. Tell us about your book. So actually the book came from really the notion when we started to work, me and Brie on a one woman show and um, we, you know, develop it one story at a time. And, you know, it started actually from an ayahuasca journey that I had um, back in 2018, where I had the aha moment that I need to write a one woman show. And at that time I didn't really do my own writing uh, as far as a, as a one woman show, uh, but I did write a lot towards a book and it was a lot of pieces. There were everywhere. And when I got together with Brie, uh, it was the COVID era. And it was a, I realized this is gonna, this is gonna take a while where we're gonna have to be home and, and steadfast in this you know, journey of the COVID. And I figure I would use that time to bring all the material I had to write the book and focus on that since you know, um, things were changing as far as performance and being on stage and having audience. So I thought that um, this is a great time to bring it together. And uh, our mutual friend, um, <clears throat> Lauren recommended that um, Brie would look at my work and help me open it up and develop it. And it became a year of a journey where we started to work together on a weekly, sometimes twice a week, to really expand the stories. And uh, four to five stories out of the book are uh, going to be in the one woman show that we're gonna put in 2022. Really amazing. Okay, uh, tell us tell us the material. Tell us about the material in this book. Building Your Home Within, great title. What Thank is that home within? So, you know, it's a, it's a very much about, you know, we all um, in the world, in this physical realm of world. Uh, and, you know, I've been on a spiritual practice for, you know, uh, 30 years. I started really, really young age where I realized that uh, there's something that we call it in, no in yoga, the knowing. There was something inside that um, when I tap into it, there was like a recognition. I've been here before. I've done this before. This feels good. This feels like home. And I started getting really curious about it. What does really the notion about the home within means when we in such a materialistic world? And, you know, it's the duality, you know, and the duality really, you know, it's the black and the white and the good and the bad. And and um, you know, joy and sadness and how all of them actually is this oneness. There's no separation. And, 
it was, you know, it's sort of based on the tantric philosophy. And then I wanted to, you know, be, be that person that lives from inside in the world. And, you know, it's a, it's a hard, it's a long and hard journey and it's an ongoing process. Like, you know, me and uh, Brie discussed today uh, that it's, you know, it's, it's an ongoing journey. Uh, now, now this book is women centric. Uh, why, why should, why should women read this? What's, uh, what would be the pitch? Uh, uh, in turn, why, why should someone read it? Why should a woman read this? I think that it's a, it's a really crucial time for to build a community and to be in connection in a heart connection. Um, you know, the, the, the community is really what's supporting us right now. And if we have a like-minded community of artists and, you know, uh, with a little splash of spirituality and a, and a bit of awakening or, or those big words of consciousness, just to, you know, live in this world where, you know, your challenges are my challenges. We all in this right now, challenges, a time, challenging time. And, uh, I think that when we bring women together and we strengthen one another, we lift one another, I think that there's a, I believe in the bigger realm that there will be a shift in the world. This is why I said uh, the Big Bang Theory. Uh, I'm, I'm hearing all of these words that I've, I've heard lately. Uh, the notion of all that has happened in the world, uh, women are now realizing truly their potential from, from what one reads. Uh, so I think your book seems to cover this in terms of spiritually, in terms of community, you're using that word brilliantly. Uh, this really seems a way of all women with one, with one book coming together and realizing their potential. Uh, now, now, now here's, here's the obstacle. Uh, okay, uh, I, I'm hearing this, I'm saying, okay, great. I don't need to read it. Why should men read this book? You know, it's not that I don't, we don't believe in men. I think that we really want men to come with us on this journey. Um, you know, the, the patriarchy as we know it is, you know, need to shift, need to change. And, um, you know, I had a grandmother who was uh, definitely the matriarch of our home and she really represent uh, a strength in, 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 in our home growing up and we all had such a respect for her and cherished her and you know she set up an example for me that um, you know how to show you know men how women need to really be and behave and it's not like to, to behave to be a good girl is to um, to be adored to be cherished uh, to be elevated, to be comfortable with your femininity in this world and you know let men I'm not saying that let men be men but also let men elevate as well. So, so when you say community, you're, you're talking general full-scale community. Women need to read this so they can see their potential. Men need to see this because this is the next, I'm not gonna say generation, it's too short a time. This is the next uh, uh, paradigm uh, yeah. uh, in terms of a, a sense of community, in terms of a sense of equality, if yeah. you will. Um, uh, you, you, you hearken my memory back to my grandmother. My, my grandfather was, uh, was an entrepreneur and, and uh, he, he was a sharp dressed man and an entrepreneur. And I, I, I hope I got some qualities from him, but my grandmother was truly also the matriarch. Uh, I, I, I will not, I will not go into long stories, but I wouldn't be, wouldn't be here without her because she, she basically got her family out of Nazi Germany. So so, so when you talk matriarch, when you talk uh, that kind of, of feeling, I, I understand it fully. Uh, I laugh. There are many times I'll see something and I'll, I'll turn to my wife and I'll say, I'm not like that, am I? So, so I, think, uh, I, think, I think you're right in terms of everyone needs to read your book. Brie, uh, 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 OC comes to you and, and, and says, I have this book. It's going to bring together the world. Uh, it's a new paradigm of community. Here it is. What did, how did, what did you do? What, what, what was your thought process <laughs> in helping her? Um, I mean, for me, I see my job in, uh, in, in any uh, connection with a writer is what are they trying to say? And, and to be able to reflect back, like, what, what message am I receiving? Is that the message you want to give? And if it's not, how do we shift, um, you know, shift the work so that that message becomes clear? 
that's pretty much it. I sit and I listen and I go like, is that what you wanted to say? Because this is what I got. Um, and that's how we end up kind of just going through line by line uh, what the message is and if it's clear. Um, you as a woman, when, when you read this, were you able or did you need to separate yourself from being a, a, a professional and being a woman in, in talking to her about this material? Uh, is, is there a level of, of, well, the plot of this and you have to worry about this and if it's going to be a one woman show, then you need to do this. And if it's going to be a book, uh, did you need to separate that in any way from simply saying, wow, that's a great message. I feel that also or something like that. Uh, I, I know, I think I needed to become more in touch with that part of my experience. Um, you know, in order to be able to relate to what um, OC stories were, which like are very compelling and very personal. Uh, and, and to just find those connection points where that's like, oh no, that's an experience I understand. Um, and I think that that's a sort of a, you know, pan feminine as as in like as we identify with these experiences and I think that's kind of the strength of the book is that you you might see like some some um kind of out there story oh see it's a bit rock and roll and I love her for that um and you'll see this kind of wild stuff but you'll also see yourself in it no matter where you're from and I, and I think that's where the book has its life. So she immediately connected you uh, to the community in terms of this book. Absolutely. Well, there's a success right there. Um, I'm really impressed with Playful Substance. I always have been. Uh, you, you, you take such pain, such time to develop new works. Now you're developing literature, essentially, as much as we're saying this will be a one woman show and it started that way. Uh, you're, you're developing literature and everything. Uh, you're, you're doing that now with another project with uh, Infinite Variety Productions. You're, you're doing what, what's called documentary theater, I think, is, is the term that's being used. Uh, tell us quickly about that one. Um, so this is an exciting project. Uh, Ashley Edelman, who is uh, the artistic director for Infinite Variety Productions, she came to me with like, she did all of these interviews with these uh, female scientists who uh, went into the caves in South Africa to just basically discover a new hominid species. They didn't know that's what they were gonna discover when they went down there and re were basically chosen because they could fit through the tiny spaces of the caves. Uh, and their, their story sort of blows up into all of these amazing spaces between connections between art and science, uh, gender politics, um, you know, our search for equality and also our connection to the, you know, the world past, present and future. So um, we're working on this, uh, developing a, a, an immersive documentary theater piece. We're hoping to get ready for next year. That's that's really interesting. You have two projects now on your desk. You have one talking about uh, the, the 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 ancient world and how it eventually uh, built into where we are now. And and OC, uh, uh, you're basically telling us the next the next wave, the next paradigm, the next sense of reality. Uh, so so how how fantastical that you're on both ends of this. <laughs> Um, uh, OC, you're, you're, you're in the fundraising stage, you're in, you're in the, 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 the gestation stage of this. Um, yeah, uh, tell weeks. us, I'm sorry? <laughs> I have two more weeks left. Two more, okay, then, then we better hurry. Tell us, um, tell us how people can get involved. Tell us the next level for all of us. How can we join your community? Wow, amazing. Um, definitely, you know, make a pledge today. That would be huge help and uh, participate by, you know, coming to the one woman show they're going to be next year and buying the book. And also I, I do retreat a few times a, a year, women retreat, uh, gathering. And uh, yeah, there's, there's a lot of ways to, um, you know, get together and come into uh, Brie classes on Monday night. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and bring in your work so we can, you know, we can see your work as well and, and share it and work together. Because I think that also when people come into the retreat and uh, they, they, you know, it's a, it's a place where you can really um, 
you know, let go and um, drop the judgment and just fully be yourself and get to be the authentic you. So there's many ways. And I feel like the book is a really great way to enter into those conversations. Um, now they can go to kickstarter.com and go to Osi Mizrahi slash building the home within yes. to, to support the effort. What if they want to talk to you about, uh, about your, your, your classes and things like that? What if they, what if they want to meet you? What, where do they go? Um, they can go to OC Living, OSI Living.com, and uh, they can definitely send me an email. And there's uh, a lot of opportunities to join in. There's, I have also a, a videos that I put out there for free on uh, YouTube, which is OC Mizrahi. And uh, yeah, I have a lot of material and blogs and uh, things to share. And uh, yeah, let people join the journey. It's an ongoing journey, and it's so much better doing it together. Last, last thing I want to ask you, my own curiosity. Uh, what was your big bang? What was your uh, start of your journey? You're talking journey. When did you decide, this is what I need to do? As far as the book or as far as life? Uh, life. Was... <laughs> let's, let's start life. That usually takes precedence. Let's start life. I think that um, the... You know, the moment that I um, called myself, was comfortable enough to call myself an artist, uh, things started to shift because I felt like I have a voice as a woman and um, also bringing uh, my truth. And a lot of time, my truth is really not just my truth, is a lot of women's truth. And uh, speaking about it openly and having conversation and starting the dialogue is really where it started for me, the process, you know, stepping on the, on the, on the, you know, on the stage, which is, you know, a place where you feel, you know, super exposed and super vulnerable, but, you know, coming off the stage, you feel um, there's no better high. Um, gotcha. and, yeah. Yeah. Agreed. Totally agree. Um, uh, uh, it's, I'm, I'm really thrilled to hear all of this information. I'm really thrilled to hear that you're taking it multimedia, that you're giving us a chance to read it. Chances are it'll become an audio book and it'll become something on Kindle and all of this so that, that everyone can see it in any, in any way. Uh, and then to actually meet you on stage. And if we're, if we're, if we're uh, uh, too excited to, to wait, then they can go to your website and get a chance to meet you. Yes, I'm doing a women retreat in Costa Rica in December, 2021. And um, it's going to be about 30 women and it's going to have all those discussions and dancing and yoga and writing and performance and all of that in one place. <laughs> uh, you, you, you talk spirituality and there's, there's an expression which, which I hear is, is the great all. Uh, uh, and basically one facet of it is what you're thinking is not just what you're thinking. It's, it's the collective is thinking it. Um, and and uh, I, I, I applaud you. For, for, for reaching into your great all and saying, there are so many that are thinking this way, I need to share my thoughts with them. Uh, uh, really wonderful. And ladies and gentlemen, you go to kickstarter.com to Osi Mizrahi backslash building the home within and find out all you can about this amazing book. And then when you say, you know, I could write a book. <laughs> uh, that's, that's where Bree, how do we get a hold of you? Uh, probably the best way is uh, my website is uh, www.playfulsubstance.com. Uh, we're on the social medias as playful at Playful Substance. You can find us in any number of platforms. Uh, reach out. So, so when you say, now it's my turn to share my journey, you go to Brie O'Connor and Playful Substance and, and build your work into, into another masterful piece of art and literature. Ladies, thank you so much. All the best. I look forward to reading the book. I look forward to seeing the show. And I look forward to hearing so much more from both of you, from, from Osi Mizrahi and from Brie O'Connor and Playful Substance. Thank you both very much. Thanks, Gay.